Oh god, yeah, they're restocked, baby. There's a squirrel right here. This thing's a snipe. I just sniped him. There it is, boys. This is like a prison. <laughs> this it is, dude. Here we go, boys. These are low-key a slap. I'll be honest. What's going on, folks? Well, we're at Walmart again. We were halfway to the ranch. We were gonna go do some hunting, and we realized we brought no weapons with us, and there's nothing down at the ranch. We just cleaned everything out after deer season down there, and so I was like, I mean, I guess we can go pull into Walmart and see if they got anything that we don't already have. We've been buying pews at Walmart. This place is actually pretty stocked up, so of course, going through the back door per usual. But yeah, we wanted to go hunting at the ranch, and I totally forgot to pack the pack the old pews, so that's what we're doing today. We're gonna walk back here and see if they got anything. Either we don't have, or something and that could be really cool to potentially hunt with. But it's open season for anything, folks. We've got squirrel, you got rabbit, you got crow, you've got, I mean, technically deer, if pheasant. you want to shoot a muzzle or pheasant, quail, uh, ducks, geese. I mean, sheesh. It, the pretty, it's limitless, the options that we have for uh, for harvest. Uh, but that's the plan. Gonna go pick up a pew. Hopefully they sell us something. We'll see what we can find back here. I'm just gonna walk back here and just see what we get. See what we can find here. Oh God, yeah, they're restocked, baby. They are loaded. Yeah. This place is always loaded. Okay, so for the rifle side, so we could, so a couple options. You got your 22, which would be good for squirrels and your rabbits. The thing about the, the shotgun though, well, and if you want a deer, you would, we need to get a muzzy. They have, they have a muzzy, don't they? The muzzy, muzzy's over there. So I thought I saw a muzzy over here. No, 17, I, I don't have a 17 HMR. Never, I've never had one of those. That could be something new. 22, 22, 22. 22s are great, but it, it does limit you. Then if you go to the shotguns though, the shotguns you could harvest squirrel, rabbit, quail, pheasant, ducks, geese, and crows, I think, right? I'm trying to think, did I miss anything that you can harvest with a shotgun? I mean, if you Pretty put a if you put a slug in, you can go wham the deer. Sure. I, shotguns are gonna be more versatile for sure. The question is, what shotgun do we need? Do they have anything we don't have? They have a there's you a Mossberg, the, the most expensive. Oh god, yeah. Well, what, they, what, so what is the most There's expensive? a 520 Oh! That thing's kind of sick. That's a little semi-12. That ain't that's bad. Yeah, yeah, that's a 20 gauge. Oh, that's a youth 20. Oh, youth 20 dude, pump. dude, a youth 20 pump. Would be like the best just daily driver in the woods, dude. Oh, that sounds sick. They have one. Oh, this one's 182. That's a, uh, is this, is that, that's not a youth, is it? You, where does it say youth, youth? No, so this is a field, full that's size. a full size. 100, same price. So it is the same price, 182. Yeah. That's a 410. Pump. 410 pump. That's kind of sick. I don't think I have, I have a 410 bolt action. They don't have 410 ammo though, do they? 20. Rip. Yeah, they don't have 410. Oh, yeah. They got 20, they get 12. 20, so I guess 16. we... 16. Who shoots 16? 16? Ain't nobody shoot that. I don't... I have a bolt action. I've always... I always want to hunt with a 410, and then I realize the only one I have is just, like, straight trash. Is that a 410, too? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a single shot. Oh, a single shot. $127. Holy Oof. smokes. They're that's, good with your first shot. I was gonna say, I need I need at least the pump daddy on me. Like, that's... I need that. So, okay, so you've got a 198 TriStar. That's a pump. And then you've got the Youth, youth 182 20 gauge. You which would be sick. Use. And then you've got the full-sized 20 pump. And then you've got semi-automatics, 410, which we can't do. 12 gauge pump, 12 gauge pump, 12 gauge pump for 182. Then um, the 12 gauge semi. And then for, five, for 523. Holy smokes. What are the smokes. other thing even works? I mean, probably not. It is, that is rather expensive. Well, I gotta make sure we can buy one of these first. We gotta go find an associate. All right, folks, we found somebody. We are gonna get, there's a top black one there. It is a 20 gauge Pump. If I could find 410, I'd get the pump 410. Uh, but they do have 20 gauge shells, and there's a 20 gauge pump. It's one of the cheapest. I think the second cheapest. The only one that's cheaper than that is the single shot 410. So we're going with a cheaper pew that I don't think I already have one that's like that. Pump 20. I'm trying to think if I have a pump 20, and that's a short one. It's a little. It's a little. I don't know if it's youth. It doesn't even say youth, but it looks a little bit smaller than uh, than a lot of these other ones in there. I think that's going to be our best bet. 20 gauge. It's nice and light. It's going to be small for squirrel and for rabbit. But if we do end up seeing some ducks and some geese or some crows or something it can reach out and poke them so we're gonna get that top one up oh, you can see up there the little black one up there and then we're gonna get some 20 gauge shells we'll probably get I think they have both they have some steel and some lead because if we're yeah they do they've got some two shot steel and then it looks like some eight shot yeah there's some eight shot right there so we've got a little bit of both that way if we see some waterfowl you can't have lead so then we can shoot them with that and if we are just running around squirrel hunting then we can shoot with lead with smaller BBs have a little bit wider pattern so that's the plan. We are gonna get this thing bought and we'll see you guys at the ranch. There's a squirrel right here. Yeah, he ran up this tree right here. Well folks, we just got to the ranch. We literally pulled in and there's a squirrel right by the cabin. He's in here somewhere. Where, where could he be? Uh, 
he might have it he might have went in it I don't know I don't know where he went I don't either how do they do this shit? every <laughs> time I come squirrel hunting this is what happens they just disappear he's out there somewhere Rat. Hey, we're at the ranch. Uh, we gotta find a way to kill this guy or go find another squirrel. But I have heard some crows. Heard a squirrel, saw a squirrel. Seems like a good day. You gotta stay tuned. Well, now that we're, we think we know where he's at. There's a hole in that tree. But this is, this is the pew, in case you guys are curious. 20 gauge uh, pump action. Shotgun. Yeah, we didn't have a chance to give you guys an introduction because uh, we pulled in and saw a big, big fluffy squirrel. But I did hear another one. Like I said, I've heard some crows too. I do see a couple nests. So I think the plan now is that guy might just win for right now. We may come back and he might be. It's just crazy how fast they can get up in it. But that tree looked hollow. And so we think he's probably up in it. And I don't know how long it would take for him to feel comfortable to come out. And then even if he does come out and then we step out, what's he going to do? Right back in the freaking tree. So we got I want to go find the one that's freaking chuckering. Got the old squirrel call, locked and loaded, ready to rock and roll. Plus, we might kick up a rabbit or potentially a quail. Pheasant, not super likely out here, but you never really know. Um, but there's quite a few squirrel nests around here. We've actually seen quite a few down on the, the food plot, the old Braska plot. They're on trail cameras all the time. So we might go check down there. We might go walk down by the pond. I heard one, so I think we're going to meander into the woods a little bit, try to be real quiet, locate him, and try to get something down on the ground. Stay tuned. these trees or no? Yeah, I did. He got all the way up to the tip. He was moving that way. Keep going? Yeah. Oh, I should have just let one rip. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Every time I squirrel hunt, this shit happens. They're so hard to find. Oh, huh. I wonder if he went up in that nest. Oh, uh, he might have. There's two up there. I bet he's, I bet he's close to that nest. I don't know if you guys can you guys see that big freaking nest right yeah. there. That's about where we lost him. Squirrels too. Walmart shotgun. Zero. He's probably sitting in that nest. All right. Well, let's go to the top of the hill. In case he's not. In case he kept going. You can try to flank him, push him back again. Otherwise, we'll probably head down. The crows, you probably can't hear. The crows are getting after it. So we may end up. Oh, yeah. They're just getting it. We may end up doing that. We keep getting out somehow smarter by these freaking squirrels. I don't know how Kendall Gray does it. I'll give it to that kid. That kid mows squirrels down. I gotta get him and his dog out here because yeah. I suck at this. All right, let's keep walking. Well, boys, <clears throat> we made it down by the cabin. You see, that's the uh, camper trailer thing. This is the old cabin plot. We see squirrels here all the time. When we were deer hunting, we sat up in the street quite a bit early, like bow season. We saw a bunch, but this is kind of the last place I can think of. It's not far. We're you know we're trying not to fire up the mule and scare everything. But what we might have to do is, the crows are still horny. I mean, they're, they're getting out. So what we might do is get in the mule. We'll throw the crow decoys in, throw the crow calls in so we have it. And then we'll go to probably, the, we'll probably go to the north side of the property, which also is where I've seen squirrels. If the crows are still kind of out and about, we can set out a crow spread while we kind of do crow hunting at the same time. But that's all we've really seen. I heard one flock of geese, they were flying south. Once we have a lake, folks, we'll be killing all sorts of honk daddies out here. But yeah, it's dry right now, there's no lake. so. Yeah, this is pretty much the only other place I can think of. I haven't heard any. We found the one. The one we heard, we found. And he was fast. Way faster than us. We're getting outsmarted by the squirrels today. So I think we're going to go ahead and finish. We'll walk back up. Walk back up through the cabin. If we don't see anything, we're going to load up and head north. Stay tuned. All right, folks. We got a pro kind of a prop. We, I don't know what to do. We just got the mule. Dude, there's 150 crows on top of us right now. I don't, I don't know what to do. Look, can you see him? Look over there. There's another, at like, hundred of them down there. 
I mean, they're, dude, we got to hunt these. There's a million of them. So we just need to worry about us being in a good spot. They'll come to us. Like, we don't, it's not like deer or anything where you have to be where they are. They'll come to you. So should we just run away from them? Let's go to the north so they're not side. suspecting yeah, anything? Far north the oh my gosh. This is about to be a hell of a crow shoot. If we can get them to come in, if they don't see us, we have ghillie suits. We got to ghillie up. We got to get... Well, yeah, we'll get in the we'll get in the shade. We'll sit on that. I think we should sit on that inside tree row facing north. Then the sun will be behind us. I kind of want to shoot this. One. Look at him. I think if I shoot him, it'll mess up. It'll mess anything up or not? No. Yeah, you should shoot that thing. This thing's a snipe. I just dude, dude, the crows. <laughs> I just sniped him. Yeah, you did. Holy. Sh do you see all the crows over there? Wait, I actually hit that. Yeah, you smoked that. Wait, thing. Did, why is this? <laughs> you go, should I shoot this one? Wait, why did that work? How, that was a far. Was that not far? Yeah, I'm count your steps. Okay, okay, okay. So I got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, nine, thirty. Oh, he's still alive. Um, so like thirty plus yards. But then up. Yeah. You got to think about up. Like forty at least. I mean, we got dinner. At we least. got one down now. We, look, you see all this flock over there? Dude, look at those. We gotta go set up the spread. Yeah, we gotta get them to die. We gotta get them. Dude, this thing goes nice. hard, bro. Like, I, honestly, with my normal, like, normal shotgun, I would not have, like, only reason I took that shot is because I was like, oh, there's nothing to lose. It wasn't with, like, a giant pack. Most of them went that way, so I knew it wasn't gonna mess it up. You see the, it looks like we're in some horror movie or this something. Is, this is great. Yeah, we got one realistic decoy, at least. We do. Yeah. Can you do that? I don't know. If he's dead. I put the dead geese in the spread. Yeah, sometime. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's legal, right? He looks legit to me. First harvest, baby. <laughs> We got him. Crow. All right. Let's go set the spread out. Oh, yeah, baby. This is the spot. So I'm trying to figure out. I mean, if we want to really, really be hidden, we need to get back there probably. This is a little sparse. I'm worried that's a little, you think that's a little far? That's I probably 30 yards. Do you think we can right Do you think we can? Yes. I think we can get right behind those just, two Just cedars. gilly and just yeah. don't move. And just be still. Set the spread out right here then. Shoo! All right, so this is the old sunflower spread. Remember we were shooting doves last year? So that's a nice squirrel nest. We've been eyeing that thing for months, dude. It's a, it's a big squirrel nest. There's a dove in that tree, by the way, too. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you see him? What's he doing? It's, it's too late for him. Yeah, so I want to get the hide first, and then we'll then we'll go put the spread out accordingly. I mean, see, the sun's behind us, so that's already really, really helping. They are going to come from there. That's That was my biggest concern. You know, they're going to come from there. Being in the shadows is going to be your best bet. This isn't a ton, a ton of cover, though. You, We could sit on the other side, too. I mean, if we can't find anything we really like. I mean, this isn't, like, in here, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. This isn't bad. Mm -hmm. I can hide it in there. I mean, I'm pretty, I don't know, I kind of like this, but if we can fit right both here. of us. I, I just know they got eyesight, like, mm -hmm. freaking, they, they've got the best eyesight. Yeah, that's that's your best spot, but that's far. You don't want to be that far off your spread. Otherwise, over there, you, you're, you're, I mean, you're going to be lit up more, though. I mean, I don't know what I'd rather have, shade? Probably shade. It's a little far, but I think your cover is better here for sure. Yeah. I think your ability to shoot and kill a bird is less. I mean... If we put the spread just here, you know they're gonna come this way. Yeah. And you can hear them, they're, they're right there. Tree, yeah. I mean, I can get way tucked up against this tree. And then when I wanna shoot, I can just run out too. Just literally sprint, right run and shoot. All right, this is a better hide. And I'll say this is also, that's a good hide there too. You're in that pocket. I then I can just run out. Okay, All right, well, we're gonna, we'll sit over here then. I think, I think the number one thing with crow hunting, in my opinion, is your hide. That's more important. Because if, if we can start getting them to set down, I mean, we get a freaking talk about snow tornadoes. You ever seen a crow tornado? <laughs> Buckle up, boys. It's going to be good. Oh, God, yeah. Big big bush guy. Oh, yeah. Looking like a leaf. Sheesh. All right. Spreads out. We got two, one, and then I got a four pack over here. And we're going to be sitting right here. We got some nice buckets. I'll take that side by side and I'll go hide it. So we'll be sitting, sitting back there. Spreads here. We got the collar. It's game time, boys. Oh, God, yeah. Here we go.
You hit him. Got him. He's down. He's down. I, w I didn't want to take a risk. No, not. dude, he dumped. That was it, yeah. He's still alive. We gotta go get him. We got him. <sighs> dude, he dumped. I was, I was wanting the, f the, f the full effect, but he came in perfect. Two scouts came in. Did you see him? Then yeah, they yeah, roosted. Yeah. Not roosted, but they hung up in the tree. I was like, all right, they're going to get more. More came in. Got two now. Second crow. <laughs> Banjo's missing out. Banjo's sloppy crow, baby. Oh, yeah, I He's going to be pissed. Boys, go. we're going back to the blind. Look out, we got one more. Dang it. Rip. Clicked. <laughs> Dang it, I clicked, dude. That would have been freaking four. Are you kidding me? This is the most crows I've ever shot. Well, boys, I clicked again. I don't know what the deal is with that. They were dumping on that. They were though. doing good too. There's still a bunch of ways away. You can yeah. hear them. I know. I'm like, I'm, I'm going back and forth. If I shoot those one lows or just wait for the flock to come in or what? Thought I got a little piece of them, but not, not a lot. Yeah. Honestly, I liked kind of sitting back here more. Yeah. I might, might sneak back. What we did is we waited about 10 minutes. We turned on dying crow. Why they like that, I guess I'm not sure. They just, they, they want to come finish it off, I guess. I don't know. Or they think maybe it's one of their own and they get all defensive, but that was a little tough one. They weren't, they weren't gliding as much as before. They were swooping and diving, but they weren't getting as low. And they were kind of coming in, when they got low, they were coming in like this. So mm -hmm. it was, I was kind of having to shoot them in the ass. So I had to wait for them to flip and then they'd got, get a little high, so. I don't know what is up with Clicky McGee over here, but she's, she's clicking which isn't great, but, but wait another 10 minutes or so, and then we might turn on either crow distress or another crow fight. See if we can get another one to come in, stay tuned. Yeah, I think they're on to us, yeah. Only shot they 12 know, times. They know the game now. We had two more swing by, but I think that's all this spot wrote. Hey, we got a couple, two plus three. the one, plus the one back there, so three total. Yeah, we got three. But two in this in this plot, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, two in this plot. So we got two more, three. That's enough to make a nice meal. So, like I, said, I think they're on to us. I think if I if this gun didn't click, you know, typical cheap Walmart gun. But it, when it fires, though, it's a freaking sniper rifle. I mean, it's uh, you guys saw it today. It did snipe twenty gauge. I'm a fan of it. I like it. It's nice and lightweight, and uh, it does pack a punch as long as it doesn't it doesn't click on you. So. Anyways, I think we're going to pack up, and if we see any squirrels on the way out, we're going to let it eat. If not, we'll see you guys back at the house. Stay tuned. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah, wow. instead of the shoe? I missed out. What the? Vane's always missing out, but hey, when, when the food's here, he's I'm, about I'm back it. in town. So, Banjo, we, we promised the folks some sloppy crow, That's but we talked to Macy, and she's like, no, 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 no. You need yum burgers. I said, what the, what's a yum burger? She said, it makes sloppy joes look like a bag of wieners. So I said, okay, what do you need for yum burgers? So... She gave us a recipe. We're gonna to try to make crow yum burgers. We've had sloppy crow before. Sloppy Joe's made with crow. And it was good. I really liked it. But she thinks yum burgers are superior. So we're gonna try it. I don't know. I'm not, You're not, I'm feeling not convinced it? yet. She, I'm trying she it, said but... the ingredients, ketchup, mustard, chicken gumbo. Was that right? Chicken gumbo? Like canned Dude, that's... chicken and that's it. Well that's all she told us to pick up. There might be some more. Is there some right there? Is that what she wants? Chicken yeah. gumbo? I mean right. chicken gumbo, yeah. E. I don't know about it. I feel, like, in a, I feel like gumbo usually isn't chicken either, right? Yeah, I don't know. It's like that. a beet gumbo or something. Does he, do you mix, grind it? How, I mean, what do you do with it? It's, it's got to turn it. It's got to turn into ground at yeah. some point. She probably just maybe drains it and stirs it in, and it is it like small bits of chicken. I feel like this can't be the same thing as sloppy Joe. She says it's about the same, but much better. That's what she said to me. So I'm gonna I'm trust it. I'm gonna trust it. Uh, so we need, cat oh yeah, perfect mustard. Ooh, Heinz or nothing, my guy. Oh, or a oh, big for French that? Frenchie goes oh. hard. I get get Frenchie. Frenchie, yeah, he's got it. And then some. Did you just? 
<laughs> he tipped it. I was thrown in the car. Uh, he tipped it out. Do you know they sold that in the bottom? Oh, room? what? I feel like we got Arby sauce? What's, what's Rick. Hidden Alley's got going on up here? It's the secret the sauce. Secret sauce. No yet. way. No. All right. I'll, I'll just get organic. We're organic certified. That means it's probably not actually organic, but do they say this? Buns, 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 buns. Buns are crucial. Yeah. So, we, with sloppy curl last, we're not going to have a ton of meat. We did do sliders with, with Hawaiian rolls. Yep. That could be an elite power move, okay? Hawaiian rolls with anything is just goaded. Something like this, because we have individual, personal, our own yum burgers made with Hawaiian rolls. Bread, bread's right down here. Oh, so they have sweet or they have savory butter. Really? I mean, sweet's pretty tough to beat, to be honest with you. Is but King's Hawaiian I don't know. buns? Oh, is that what she, oh, that's probably what she do, yes. That's just straight do up they sliders. Make full size? Just mini sub rolls. Oh, do they sub have a bunch? Really? I've never seen any of that. What the heck? Dude, that's all new. Should I, we put them on these? I say we just get. We should just get those buns. Those little buns. Yeah. Hey, let's do that. Really that nice that'll do it. Make small. They're not gonna be teeny, but they'll be little sliders. Slide. Some yeah. yum burger crow, sloppy crow yum burger sliders. I think we have it. Really. I don't. I mean, that was this. I'll be honest. But turn, where's the where's the soup? I think we lost the soup. Wait, no way. Wait. Oh, this is like a commercial. The ravioli. No, oh. but do we actually lose? Did you go through the hole? Oh, oh my God! Where does it go? <laughs> Someone's gonna slip and fall, dude. Dude, someone's gonna be in those little chairs and just freaking tip it over. That's not gonna be good. Is it back here? Wait, did no one grab it? No, I threw it in. Did it roll under one of these? Somebody's definitely gonna trip and fall. I will grab another one. I apologize. Um, anyways, all right, we got the ingredients. We're gonna go back and make some sloppy crow macy edition. Stay tuned. Now we have it right here, folks. We got three delicious crows. We're gonna get them ground up. I got most of the hair off. There's a couple stragglers, but not too bad. Uh, sat in water overnight, and then this is literally the ingredients. I mean, this is it. You've got chicken gumbo, ketchup, mustard, all meat, and then some nice buns. That's it. I asked Macy, I was like, so what else, do you, you know, what do we have here that you didn't need to store? And she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, you had to give me, me get three things. And she's like, yeah, that's all you need. I'm like, I feel like this is not going to be good. And she says it will be. So we're going to grind up the crow. Starting off with the old grinder. Well, that's, this got reverse. Really? Yeah, I was looking at the thing. That's reverse. Interesting. All right, here we go. Fire the hole. There it is. Yeehaw. You got it. Get all the way out. The smell is not great. I'll be honest. This is rough, dude. Ugh. I'm gonna see how much it left in there in case I need to shove a wiener down there or something. I mean, that should make three little guys, I would think. Be close. Let's see if it left any. I mean, you like if I could design a grinder, you like the first thing I do is figure out how to put something in that will plunge it all out. That's mm -hmm. like the number one problem. I don't, how has nobody solved that? So everyone's like, oh, throw a hot dog in there. It's like, well, sorry, I don't have a hot dog out, out my ass. Like, I can't just pull that out. Really? Yeah. There you go, folks. That's probably, I think maybe a half pound, half pound or so. Yeah. Not terrible. All right, we've got the skillet heating up. We've got a cranker. Take just a little bit of oil. I don't know what the fat content of a crow is. I imagine it's similar to a waterfowl where it's not a whole lot. Just a little oil, get things kicked off here. And Macy said, just cook it like you would cook ground beef. Um, so we'll season it with some all meat and then you just dump that soup in. There it is. I mean, it doesn't look bad. The smell was a little- It smells rough. It smelled- Musty. Gross. Like just <sighs> not good. All right, so we'll give it a quick, quick brown. Little chopped onions in there probably mm, go a long ways on, on something like this. A little this. garlic. A little garlic would go a long ways. But I guess since it is, Sloppy Crow, or I don't know. See, the thing with the Yum Burger throws off the name. Sloppy Crow. Is, yeah. like, Hello. <laughs> Go ahead and season it up. That like yay. Keep moving it until it's pretty much, once it's all fully brown, that's for the most part fully cooked. I mean, especially if you're going to keep 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 the heat on it as you add ingredients and stuff like that. The Sloppy Crow slaps. That needs to go in their cookbook that doesn't exist because I don't know how to write a cookbook. I just, as you can tell, I just put stuff together. But I feel like one day we need to come out with a cookbook. We need to go review all the videos and try to recreate the recipe and actually measure it, put it out there for you guys to enjoy. So you at home can have sloppy crow and impress your family members. See, now it smells like beef, in my opinion. It ain't bad. I think that's gonna be good for the, oh, oh thank God, I don't need can opener. What is the chicken gumbo? I don't know. Chicken gumbo. See, I was worried about this. It's just soup. Because there's gonna be liquid, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to like ladle it out, you know, so it's like, like, do you want the chunks? Oh, there's rice? 
There's rice. In here. I guess it's gumbo, yeah. So do do I want a lot of this liquid or should I like ladle it out? Uh, <laughs> oh, ladle it out, she says. Okay. Yeah. Ten, ten four. Because you probably don't have a ton of meat in there either. So no, I mean we had, we started with about a half a pound. I don't. Hang it on. probably is not quite that. Yeah. Let me see the soup. Yeah. The gumbo. Here's my ladle. I mean, you, do you mean to get a slotted yeah. spoon, or is that fine if it's a little? It, you, you want a little bit of so, liquid. Okay. Start with that. I would do maybe like two, two more. Of those. Two more. Okay. I mean, there's zero. Per that looks like freaking wax worms on top of a pad of meat. All right, so just mix this up. Yep, and then you just add some ketchup and mustard. <laughs> dude, there's no way in hell. This is like a prison meal. This is, dude. <laughs> yeah. This is straight prison meal. It's not open. Or did you open it? I oh, you it. did. Dude, zero percent chance. No. I have no faith. None. Look, bro. <laughs> okay. You, you can't me. be serious, dude. Like, this has got to be a prank. Like she's just <laughs> stringing us along, like oh, with them yum burgers, and just add some f ass rice <laughs> and ketchup and mustard and say it's a meal. No way, dude. Dude, you there's no me. way this is gonna beat Sloppy Joe. But you gotta mix it a little bit better. Dude, I'm getting there. It's taking you forever. Well, this is this is a it's a process, okay? Is that it? Yeah. No way, dude. It's done. You put that on a bun and call it a day? Yeah. Alright, kinda of smells like a sloppy joe, low key. Really? I promise you guys. This is dude, good. This is a straight up prank. Yeah. No. This has to be. This is my family's secret recipe. <laughs> keep it a secret. <laughs> yeah, I think we should keep that one a secret, yeah. Mm. Dog food or no? Alright, Loki goes off. <laughs> Shoot. If you saw how this was created, Banjo, you would have lost your godforsaken mind. Nice. It looks. Dude, it smells bad. Does it? I don't know. Not good. So, do you want to know how we made this banjo? We browned the meat. Okay. Dumped in a can of soup, squirted ketchup and mustard, and stirred it, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. That is the most white trash thing I ever seen. <laughs> that's what I said. Hey, it's our secret she family said, recipe. Family secret, said keep it a secret, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good, ain't it? I tasted it. It's not bad. But does it taste like normal sloppy joes? I, I mean, feel like it's no, gotta be, it tastes it's like a something else. Different. It doesn't have the the, the tang, the, like that tang. You know tang. What I mean? <laughs> that, the tang. It doesn't have the tang. I mean, like this is what I, I took this and spooned it in there. That's so weird. I don't. Yeah, I'm not. It's odd. Why All right, you want to you want to get my buns? Why do you want <laughs> rice in my sloppy joes? That's what I'm saying. You said or it looks like wax ones. It looks like a bunch of waxes, dude, did it not? <laughs> it does. Ooh, that's warm. Nice, nice toasty buns. All right. I mean, it would have been better if you, like, buttered them, toasted them. Listen, up. listen. We're toasting a sandwich. Dang. <laughs> I promise, you're going to try these, and you're going to be like, I'm never going back. That's a bold statement. Vance is a huge manwich guy. Well, yeah. I grew up on these. Not that. Here it is. Not bon appetit. It's a prison special. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get a fork so you can eat all the stuff that falls out. Oh, there's a hair, there's a hair in that one. You mean to load you up, Banjo? No, oh, just load me up. Really? I might need it on both sides. I'll just eat it like biscuits and gravy. All right, we'll we'll start. Let's start there. Let's not let's not get <laughs> let's over, not get over, over, over it. <laughs> Anybody right, get lucky ahead, enough to get a canned chicken here. chunk? This is gross. Yeah, there's some canned chicken in there too. What? Case... Yeah. Oh, from the gumbo. Yeah. Yeah. Sloppy crow. Yikes. Sloppy something. Here we go, boys. Oh, the slurp. Better than I expected. Yeah. Dude, that's not bad. I don't know if it's better. I say you're not, gonna you're not going to convince him. <laughs> it's different. I like this. I'd eat another one. I was going to say. It's I'm, a lot better than I expected. Yeah. Like, that's weird. That is good. Mm -hmm. It's weird that it is good. Surprise. You wouldn't think it'd be good. And that's just what it doesn't really, look good. It doesn't look really good. taste like oh ketchup and mustard. No, no. These are low key a slap. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't. I don't know if I would prefer one. Yeah, they're different. If you different grew, I bet if you grew up on Manwich, you'd be Manwich yeah. guy. If you didn't, if you've never had Manwich and you ate both, this might it, be better. This might be you a little bit better. You might have a preference. Yeah. Oh. All right. You this is really it. good. I'll give it to you. It was good. He's he's down this one for sure. He really doubted this. 
It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. There's crow in there. It's straight crow, by the way. That's amazing. like we didn't mix it with nothing. That's amazing. I mean, oh, no, your uh, enchiladas with those pheasants, they're a little bland. Oh, dang. That's what the comments said. Oh, oh they were pissed at what were they pissed about? We did something wrong. Oh, use yeah. flour tortillas. Get out of here. Oh, you can't have that. God forbid. I hate corn. Just don't think about it. Are you a are you a sloppy joe guy or no? Yeah, oh, okay. sandwich guy. Oh. Not this BS. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Ray. The Ray. rice throws me off. The rice it's, is a little odd. It's not bad though. I'll give it to you. <laughs> I really thought it was gonna taste like just ketchup and mustard. Yeah, it, no, it, the flavor is—it's it it's close to man, which uh -huh, it just, yeah. I, in my opinion, it's just not as strong and like tangy, yeah, like where it it's like. Doesn't have the tang. It. I mean, it's a little more. Oh, there's a little bit of your chicken. There you go. There it's go it's ahead. more. I would say it's more subtle. It is. Than man, which. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, for straight crow. That's pretty impressive. Pretty good. I mean, that's I mean, pretty I'd good. Have another one. I was gonna say. I mean, I'm definitely gonna. I'm definitely gonna chef up another one. Yeah. Yeah. Out, out, out of ten, what do you think? Mm. Well, if man, which is like a nine. This is like a seven and a half. Ooh, what do you? I'll think? give it a, an eight. Okay. An eight. That's good. I'd say an eight. An eight's, eight's fair. Right. I think. I, again, I think you're like if you grew up on man, which you oh, definitely okay. prefer man, which. But if you've just never really had it, I. It's totally good. Like no, if you, I'm eating if I didn't say, hey, this was this is a a oh. sloppy Joe copycat where you're automatically thinking, yeah. you would think it's that's, fire. That's a like if we called this something else and had no Numbers. but if we said there's no correlation to yeah. sloppy joe's we would all be saying it's fire mm -hmm. it's because we're used to the sloppy yeah. joe tasting it, it, it under delivery so, you know, in my head i'm thinking yeah. of a sloppy, sloppy joe, joe and that does not taste yeah. like sloppy yeah joe. if we take the rice out i think it gets another half point. Ooh. So, i'd go to an eight if there's no rice yeah. the rice is the best part it's just oh, a little yeah. odd like no, 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 no. you don't know, i think it's good whether it's better or not i don't know either way sloppy crow whether it's yum burger edition or actual man witch edition is straight gas, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, straight up crow into the grinder, into the pan, mix in with whatever you want. Ketchup, and I would say the simplicity is pretty good for yeah. for like scratch yeah. because you know man, which is just like out of the can. This is a scratch I mean, deal. I don't know you well, can say it's scratch. You're adding a little to the can. We also just eyeballed this too, so maybe <laughs> maybe it could be a little bit tweaked. Either way, fantastic dish. We're I'm I'm gonna eat another one. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Like I said, I don't know if it's better or worse, but sloppy crow. Will never be defeated as a dish. Absolutely love it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you next time. And peace.